guard the car, I'll go get us a room, all right? You stay right here where I can keep an eye on you. Okay. Hi. I, uh, I'd like a room. Single? No, it's a double for me and my son. I, uh, I brought him here to see Disneyland. It's always been his dream. Uh, name, please? My name is David. David Love. You're in 119. Where did you guys say? $10. Doesn't bother you I haven't been able to reach Charles? Nope, because I don't think anything's wrong. What if he's kidnapped David? Oh, come on, Marie. Charlie's taken Davy a million times. Nothing's ever happened. Well, what if this time is different? What if this time he's taken David away? Hey, honey, look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? I didn't think it. I'm sure it's too expensive. Sorry. It's okay. Next time. You know what I really think? Beside the fact your imagination's running wild, I think you're jealous. Of what? Charlie and Davy. That's ridiculous. Is it? I've watched you. Kills you that they're so close. What kills me is you're not taking this seriously. Marie, you have nothing to go on but a feeling. And Charles, I know him. I don't trust him. Why'd you let Davy go? I don't know. not, Tiger. It's closed because of the rain. But, Dad, you said we could go. Yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, we can't. So come on, put on your coat. Let's go oh, back to the motel and we'll watch some Disney TV. Land. Oh, come on. Baby, what are you doing? I want to go back. Yeah. We're going to go. We're going to go back to the motel now. No, I want to go to Come on. All right, put your coat on. Let's no, go back. No. Oh, Davy. No. Oh, oh, stop no, it. I want to go to Disney Land. Come on. No, get away from me. Come on. Come on. Why are we here? This is not a hotel. Yeah, but this place is better. This place has got an arcade by the pool. I still like the other place better. Okay. Okay. I got an even better surprise, huh? Run for it. Come on. Look at this. Huh? A water bed. Dynamite! Wow. <laughs> Wait, okay, so you like it better now? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs>
Yes. Uh, John Turlo, please. Marie Rothenberg calling. Hi, hon. I just got in. What's up? Uh, there's still no answer at Charles's place. I called school. And David never showed up today. He wasn't there on Friday. What do you think? I'll try him again. I just did. Look, John, I've been trying all day. There's got to be something you can do. Please. All right, all right. Take it easy. I'll look into it. Uh, where were they supposed to be this weekend? In the Catskills. Charles rented a cabin to take David to the game farm they went to last year. John. John, are you there? I'm sorry, Marie. I should have asked you sooner. You're sorry about what? Well, I've been up in that area. That's a summertime operation. It's closed at this time of the year. Oh, my God. Where are they? Don't you want to stay here with Dad? Oh, I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry I was mean to you, but we belong together. Huh? As father and son, belong together. This is ridiculous. How much longer? I'm sorry, ma'am. We have to wait for papers from the town. I already told you. I called Lou Charles and got a warrant out for his arrest. What more do you want? Who's got the keys? Jim, you come with me. Please move back. Stay Rest back. Of you stay put. Police officers, we're coming in. Here's something. You left a note. Thanks for everything. I will not be returning. Charles Rothenberg. Just put out an APB on both of them right away. Mrs. Rothenberg, have you got some recent photos? That's good. Where can I reach you tomorrow? Home. I won't be going to work. Would you normally go in? Yes. It's better if you do go in. What? Now, please, Mrs. Rothenberg, as long as he knows your schedule, I'd advise you not to change it. I just want my baby back. Please. Cream, one sugar, right? Mary Rothenberg. Hello.
Hello. Hi, Marie. Where are you? What have you done with David? He's here with me. Let me talk to him. You can't. Why not? He's sleeping. What do you mean, he's sleeping? Why is he still asleep? It's only 7 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock in the morning here. Where are you? Let me talk to David right now. He can't talk now. Wake him up! I want to talk to him right now! Are you in California? Answer me, Charles! He's my son, Marie. I have rights. You don't have the right to take David out of New York State without my permission. That was our agreement. Now bring him back now! I can't stand listening to your mouth anymore. Screaming at me. No more, Marie. I swear to you, Charles, when I get David back, you will never, ever see him again. Do you understand? Never! That's it, Marie. I'm finished. I promise you'll never find David now. Oh, God, Charles, no, no. I warned you. Don't threaten me like that. Don't ever threaten me about David. I'm sorry, Charles. Please forgive me. I didn't know, Charles. You scared me. You took David away and you scared me. Please. I thought about it a long time last night. I was going to give you another chance, but I can't now. Goodbye, Marie. Please, Charles. No. Where are you? Charles. Charles, where are you? Time to sleep. But I'm not tired. Come on, honey, hop in. What's that for? That's a pill. So you'll sleep better. So, uh, so you'll feel rested when we go to Disneyland. Come on. Come on, drink it with this. Good boy. And, uh, and if you fall out of bed, then you won't hurt yourself. Good boy. <laughs> I got you first. <laughs> okay, come on. Bronco, huh? How many rides do you want to go on tomorrow, huh? Um, about 25. 25? You can go on 26 if you go to sleep quick. Can you get the rest? Yeah. Oh, that's my boy. No more hurts, huh? No more people pulling at you. No more people fighting over you. There's no more threats.
Yes. Mrs. Rothenberg, I have a telegram for you. May I read it? Go ahead. Dear Marie, by the time you read this, I will have terminated my existence. You have caused me enough harm. I have been through enough in my life. It's from Charles Rothenberg, isn't it? What does he say about David? What does he say about my son? Also be informed that your son has been in an accident and has been taken to the Burn Center at the University of California Irvine Medical Center. What are you talking about? What kind of accident? That's all I have. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Rothenberg. Yeah, public information. Can I help you? I'm calling from New York. I'd like to speak to whoever is in charge, please. Well, that would be me, ma'am. I'm Officer Terry Branham. I'm searching for my child. He may have been in an accident. Do you have a little boy there? Sweetheart, we're going to move your arm just a little bit, okay? Good boy. Good boy. You work right along with us, sweet thing. You're going to be all right. Let's try uh, morphine, three milligrams. Huh? Chambers. What's his name? Let me ask him. There's a woman on the line from New York who thinks this might be her son. Okay, honey. I want you to nod if you can hear me. Good boy. Is your name David? He's nodding, yes. His name is David. Oh, my God. I'll be on the next plane out. Mrs. Rothenberg, I think you should be prepared. Uh, David was very badly burned. He's unrecognizable. Yes, that's David. Honey, you better take off your coat. The doctors say he's critical. His body is completely open. That's why we got to scrub up and put on these robes. Yeah. You better wash your hands. One other thing, whoever did this to him, his father or somebody else, is still out there. Any leads yet? Just a woman at the motel. What if it is Charles? Don't you worry. We're going to have a 24-hour guard on this room until he's brought in. I want to see the child. Not my son. What if it is, Mary? 
No, it's not my David. Here with your mommy. Both right here beside you, Pat. 